We'll be starting with the past. Now in the past, we have the Nine of Cups. This card is a very good card for your love life. If you were already in a relationship, it was very possible that it was deepened and become better and sweeter. If you were single, this was a great time to meet people, get out, mix and mingle, have conversations with people that you met without being married to and without being married to. So that was a good time for that. The ideal back then was to have fun. Those are your thoughts, okay? And that's what you did. And this card is paired with the Nine of Swords. So something may have been troubling you with regard to your relationship. You may sure not to ignore your gut feelings. If you felt that something in your relationship was unhealthy, you were very likely to correct it. If you suspected that something was going on behind your back, your best bet was asking your partner about it. If you met someone new, you didn't get carried away believing that all is what it seemed to be. You knew that trust took time to develop and you weren't, you were not too much in a hurry. Okay, and now that was your past and we move on to the present and it starts with the temperance card. Now the temperance card often before you can really have peace and wisdom in your relationships you need to have peace within yourself. Look at what you feel guilty about, mistakes that you feel you've made in your past. Then make sure to forgive yourself and let them go. It's the only way you can truly make progress. Now the temperance card is paired with the Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups, It's a, it's a very good card. It's very positive. So if you're single, this card indicates that someone is about to sweep you off your feet. So if you are in a relationship, it could also mean that final commitments and marriage could be happening very soon. So at the least, in the context of love, this card means positive messages, things that you would like to hear. So be open to exploration of your feelings. Okay, so with these two cards paired together, uh, let's see the temperance card, all right? Start, started with the temperance card, is letting you know to have peace with yourself because now is the time uh, for, for great love experiences. And, and someone is looking to sweep you off your feet because it's paired with the Knight of Cups. And that would be your present. Okay, and so we move on to the challenge. The challenge is starting with the Four of Wands. Now, with the Four of Wands, it's an indicator that your relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed up to and indicating a potential marriage. If you're looking for love, it shows that special events, weddings, bars, bar mitzvahs, commitments, ceremonies, they are a good place to meet someone special now. If you get invited to something like this, 
and you are single, make a point to go. And then we have the uh, we have the four of wands paired with the uh, ace of cups. With the ace of cups, it's an excellent time regarding love. Regarding, I'm sorry, regarding love, either an existing relationship is going to take a turn for the better. Indeed, for an existing relationship, this could be a deeper level of understanding or commitment or almost any important aspect of a relationship and will feel almost like a new and encouraging start. So if you are as yet uncommitted, a new relationship is likely to appear soon. Now with these two cards paired together, okay, so it's, it's indicated that your relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed and it's paired with the Ace of Cups. This is another great time for love. And it's just letting you know that if you are uncommitted, a new relationship is likely to appear, appear soon. So they're, they're both really good time, good cards for love. So the challenge is to just go with the flow because it's all good for love right, right now. That would be your challenge. Just go with the flow. Don't fight it. All right. And then we move to the outcome. And it's going to start with the hermit card. Now, the Hermit card, if you take a good look at this card, it's just letting you know that it's possible that romance from your past will be rekindled. Okay? It, it will be rekindled. So you need to ask yourself, is that really what you want? It seems that romantic relationships are not currently a priority for you right now. So if your hit says that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship, look at your behavior. behavior. Does it align with the analysis? So, in a committed relationship, you might have been moving in a different direction for a while now. So, make sure to make the time and effort to stay, connect, to stay connected in order to keep the spark alive. And then this cup is paired with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Five of Pentacles, you may have your eye on someone who you feel is not treating you the way they should. All right? It may be, maybe that you need to stop fantasizing about this person entirely. This card can very much be a card of feeling left out in the cold. It's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level, happy, meaningful relationship. So when love is right, you don't have to go doing backflips to make it work. Broaden your horizons and try hard to think positively. You are not an unlovable person. Remember that. And that would be your outcome. So the hermit is paired with the five of pentacles. It's basically letting you know that someone from your past could be headed your way. And since it's paired with the Five of Pentacles, you may be already paired with someone that could, could be treating you the way that you don't feel that you should be treated. 
So you might want to take some interest in the new person that's headed your way. Okay? Just remember to broaden your horizons and try hard to think positively. And that will be the outcome. Okay, Cancers, I hope this resonated with you. As you know, on general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. I thank you so much for watching and have a great day.